What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be going over five of the most common mistakes that are most likely holding you back in Fortnite. These are mistakes I've found players making in both competitive and casual modes and they include some mechanical mistakes, along with certain practice mistakes that are holding you back from reaching maximum potential in game. If you watch the full video and fix each of the mistakes I outlined, you'll find yourself quickly becoming a much better player in Fortnite. With that said, be sure to drop a like if this video helps you out, subscribe if you'd like to see more content just like this in the future, and without further ado, let's get into it. So hopping straight into our first tip, this one is definitely one of the most common issues that I see with beginner to intermediate players, and that's making suboptimal edits. I can't tell you guys how often I see someone in a great situation, easily able to get a kill, but then they make an edit that exposes their full body and end up getting killed because of it. One example situation goes like this. You have a wall on someone and you can basically make any edit you want, but instead of going for a jump shot, right hand peek, or anything else that gives you an advantage, you instead go for something like an arch edit, fully exposing yourself and giving you a suboptimal peak. In this situation, it's so easy to get pre-fired or even boxed up by your opponent and you're basically putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Instead, you could do something like a top right triangle, which gives you a clean right hand peak and plenty of room to move around and trick out your opponent, as you can see. Of course, this situation is a bit simplified, but the concept still applies to any fighting situation. Making a suboptimal edit in a fight is a recipe for disaster, especially if you have a habit of doing it, so try to focus on going for right hand peaks and other edits that generally give you an advantage. With that said, the second mistake I see far too many players making in Fortnite is switching settings constantly. One of the main reasons that pros have such insane mechanics is because they found a set of keybinds, they found a sensitivity, and they stuck with them both. Obviously they made some adjustments along the way, but very rarely are you going to see a pro making settings adjustments every single day or even on a weekly basis. With that said, what I recommend you do is simply find a set of keybinds that's optimal, figure out a sensitivity that fits your playstyle, and stick with it. This will allow you to play much more consistent and become a much better player in general since you won't be switching everything around and causing yourself a bunch of confusion. Obviously, don't be afraid of switching your settings and definitely don't avoid it if there's something much better that you can be using, but just try to avoid switching it around too much as doing so can really mess with your muscle memory and cause you a lot of unnecessary complication. Personally, I used to switch around my settings a lot, switching up my sensitivity thinking that that was my issue and constantly changing my keybinds thinking that they were making me worse. But the truth was, I wasn't improving at the game because I was practicing inefficiently and really wasn't doing the right things to improve. If you find yourself struggling struggling in game, then there's a good chance that it's simply a practice or playstyle issue, and not an issue with your settings, especially if you've adjusted them and fine-tuned them a lot in the past. So in conclusion, stop messing with your keybinds so much and stop changing your sensitivity every day. Find something that works for you and just stick with it, that way you can build muscle memory and improve on those settings for a long time. Moving on from that though, the third mistake that so many players seem to make relates to just your general practice, and that's not focusing on your weak points. Within this game in general, your overall skill is just as strong as your weakest link. If you can peace control someone to shreds, but then you miss all of your shots, then you're probably still going to die. If you're an insane mechanical player, but don't know how to rotate, you're probably going to get destroyed in tournaments. That's why focusing on your weak points in practice should be your top priority. Whether it relates to aim, whether it relates to rotations, peaking, or a mix of multiple skills, overall your practice should heavily revolve around the things that you're worst at. That way you can maximize your improvement and become a more well-rounded player overall. I can't tell you guys how often I see players with a blatant weakness focusing on the things that they're already great at. And that's one of the main issues I see, especially with players trying to pursue the game on a competitive level. So overall, try to figure out what your weaknesses are, and then focus a good chunk of your practice on fixing those weaknesses so you can strengthen your weakest link. Moving into our fourth mistake though, and this one kind of relates back to finding your weaknesses, and that's not VOD reviewing your gameplay. You probably expected this one given that VOD reviewing is discussed constantly in the tips and tricks scene, but this is easily one of the top reasons why you might not be improving at the game. To put it simply, you can only tell so much from just playing the game. When you're actually in a fight, or experiencing regular gameplay, there's only so much you can pick up in terms of what you do right and wrong. Obviously, you're really focused on the game and you're not going to be exactly analyzing your gameplay as you play. And that's exactly why people vote of you, to see the details that they miss while they're playing. If you find yourself struggling in game and you can't figure out why, then one of the quickest and most effective things you can do is hop into replay mode, review your game, and try to figure out what led to your death. This is a really simple solution, but it works like a charm. Another option you have as well is to do an exchange VOD review. With an exchange VOD review, essentially what you you do is you get another person, preferably someone around your skill level, and then you both send each other a replay. From there, you're both going to have your gameplay reviewed by the other person from another perspective, and with that, you can learn from the other person's gameplay as well as receiving feedback on your own. You'll each want to write some notes for the other person and let them know what they can do to improve. The exchange method of VOD reviewing is a really simple yet really effective way to improve, and it can give you some great insight into things you might not realize about your own gameplay. But either way, whether you solo VOD review or if you do an exchange, VOD reviewing your gameplay is 
is absolutely critical if you're trying to reach a high level in game so be sure to start doing that if you're not already finally guys the last mistake in this video and one that so many players are making is watching plenty of tips and tricks videos getting a ton of useful information and practice methods but not taking action you can watch all the content in the world and find some of the most effective practice methods but if you don't actually do them on a consistent basis then you're just wasting your time obviously as someone who does tips and tricks videos i really want you to watch my videos but the truth is that these videos alone aren't going to make you a good player they can certainly help and give you some really useful information but they won't do the work for you and i see way too many players doing all the research in the world but never actually putting the tips into practice in a real situation on a consistent basis and thus they never end up improving because of it just remember that the best way to improve at anything is to simply do it so if you find yourself watching a bunch of videos finding a bunch of practice methods but then not actually taking action then start hopping into the game and put the work in but with all that said guys that's going to wrap it up for this video on the five biggest mistakes holding you back in fortnite if this video helped you out be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future as well as that let me know down in the comments which videos you'd like to see next on the channel i'm trying to go for daily uploads currently or at least close to daily uploads so be sure to turn those post notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the videos but with that said thank you all for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye for now